Breathing Life into Theory, Illustrations of Community-Based Research, Hallmarks, Functions, and Phases, by Joanna Achoka and Rich Jansen. In the past 30 years, the emergence of community-based research has significantly changed research relationships between researchers and communities and between universities and communities. Community-based research approach recognizes the community as knowledge-rich partners and does not portray knowledge as the sole domain of academic institutions. The Center for Community-Based Research promotes community-based research in both academic and community settings. CCPR connects people who conduct community-based research and encourages CBR quality. Three hallmarks or guiding principles can help to define community-based research. One, it is community-driven, which means the practical significance of the research to communities. Research is relevant when community members gain voice and choice through the research process. Two, it is participatory. Community members and researchers equitably share control of the research agenda through involvement in the research design, implementation, and dissemination. Three, community-based research is action-oriented. This means that the process and results of research should be useful to community members in making positive social change. Community-based research can be seen to have three main functions. One, knowledge production, which is collaborative, participatory, and action-oriented. Two, knowledge mobilization, sharing research findings in ways that speak to various audiences and that enable people to use this knowledge to transform society within their own spheres of influence. And three, community mobilization, mobilizing people and communities for action. So how is community-based research carried out? The CBR process can be envisioned as four non-linear and repeated phases, which are constantly adapting to emerging contexts and ongoing learning. The first means laying the foundations for research, which involves identifying the purpose of research and negotiating goals and roles. The second is planning, determining the research questions and methods for collecting information. The third involves information gathering, analysis, and interpretation. And the fourth is acting on findings, which also means mobilizing and sharing the information. Some key lessons about community-based research can be drawn from three research projects conducted at CCBR. One, community relevance. A research study called Taking Culture Seriously in Community Mental Health, conducted between 2005 and 2010, emphasized some key lessons about community relevance. The study involved five ethnocultural communities across Toronto and Waterloo. In this project, involving community researchers who were themselves active members of the communities ensured research relevance. Two, equitable participation. A second useful case study is a seven-year evaluation of Ontario's Consumer Survivor Initiatives, organizations for people and run by people who struggle with their mental health. This project made clear the depth of responsibility researchers have when vulnerable populations agree to participate in research. Three, action and change. Between 2002 and 2011, CCBR undertook a series of research projects to address immigrant employment and underemployment within Waterloo. One strength of this research was the lack of long-term strategic planning across the five projects, which allowed for flexibility and change. This research also identified the challenge of working across sectors to conduct research. These case studies demonstrate both the complexity and usefulness of community-based research and highlight four main insights into the nature of CBR. The first insight is the apparent tension between academic excellence and community relevance. CCBR's research projects illustrate the need to utilize the skills and expertise of all research partners in order to embrace both aspects. The second insight relates to engagement. Engagement is more likely to happen when community members and other stakeholders witness that researchers view the project as supporting a strategic social movement. The third insight relates to context. Impactful CBR is more likely within a sustained research agenda that exists over time and includes a wide range of stakeholders and policymakers. Finally, community-based researchers can be seen as the catalysts that link and enliven the three hallmarks, three functions, and four phases of community-based research.